Lesson 21, Long Division with Remainders. In the last lesson, we learned about long division. Sometimes when you're doing division, a number won't divide another number evenly. Let me show you an example. 335 divided by 2. We start out by putting 335 inside the division box, and 2 is the divisor, so it goes on the outside. Now we're going to go through the steps. Remember, there are four steps in long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, then bring down the next digit. And then you start all over again. Why don't you do the first step? How many times will 2 go into 3? That's right. Now we need to multiply. What's 1 times 2? Exactly. Next, we subtract. Go ahead and subtract 3 minus 2. You got it. From here, we bring down the next digit, which is the 3. That turns the 1 into 13. Now we start the process over again by dividing. How many times will 2 go into 13? Good. From here, we multiply again. What 6 times 2? That's right. Now we subtract. What's 13 minus 12? Good. The next digit to bring down is the 5. That changes the 1 into a 15. Now we divide again. How many times will 2 go into 15? That's right. Next, we multiply 7 and 2. Go ahead. That's it. The last step is to subtract. What's 15 minus 14? You got it. There aren't any more digits to bring down, which means we're done. But notice something different here. On all our other long division problems, we always ended up with the zero on the bottom. But here we have a one. The one is called a remainder. That just means that when you try to divide 335 into groups of two, it won't work. You end up with one left over. You'll have 167 groups of two with an extra one that doesn't fit. The way you write a remainder in a division problem is to just put it next to the answer. So you write it like this. And that little R there just means remainder. You can get all sorts of remainders when you're dividing. It doesn't always have to be a remainder of one. It can be a remainder of two or three or four and on up. Here's a really simple division problem with a remainder of two. See, 11 divided by three. It actually goes, the three actually goes three times because three times three is nine, and that's a little under 11. So you put three on top and multiply and you get nine, but then when you subtract, 11 minus nine is two. So see, this problem actually has a remainder of two. And that just means that if you try to divide 11 into groups of three, you can't do it. You'll have two left over. Let's do one more example. 2,855 divided by 4. We need to put the 2,855 inside the division box, and the 4 goes on the outside. And then remember the steps. It's divide, multiply, subtract, then bring down the next digit. So the first step is to try and divide 4 into 2. But 2 is too small. 4 won't go into 2 at all. So what we do is try to divide into the first two digits. How many times will 4 go into 28? That's right. Notice the 7 goes above the 8 instead of the 2. That's because we divided into 28, not 2. So be careful about that. The next step is to multiply. What's 7 times 4? You got it. Now we subtract. What's 28 minus 28? Yes. It's time to bring down the next digit, which is a 5. That gives us 0, 5 on bottom. Don't get confused about that. That's just the same as 5. And now we start the whole process over again by dividing. How many times does 4 go into 5? That's right. Next, we multiply. What's 1 times 4? That's it. 
Now let's subtract 5 minus 4. Good. The next digit is another 5, so we have to bring that down. That turns the 1 into a 15. How many times does 4 go into 15? That's right. Now we multiply 3 times 4. Good. And the last step is to subtract. What's 15 minus 12? You got it. There are no more digits to bring down, so we're done. Our answer is 713 with a remainder of 3. So we put the remainder right next to the answer. And what this means is that if we try to divide 2,855 into equal groups of 4, we'll end up with 713 groups with 3 extras left over.